Mike Schmitz here with Karim Yalo of Germany. Uh, just finished up a game here at the under 20s in Greece. Um, you know, team didn't win, but we saw you playing with a lot of energy, uh, you know, defending, pushing the ball in transition, making plays. Um, what has this tournament been like for you so far? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear the last. What has this tournament been like for you so far? Um, it was, I was expecting a little bit more for myself because um, in the games we had uh, before the European Championship, I was playing pretty well. And the first games, I was not really in the tournament, um, but from game to game, I was uh, getting better. So, of course, I wanted that we uh, went to another place, but it is how it is. But at the end, I'm, I could do better, but I'm satisfied with what I what I, I try to get the team what I can do and you know from game to game was better but yeah what are the biggest things you think that you bring to the table uh, my energy my energy and my defense because um, and then my offense comes because defense I can play every time I have long arms I have a lot of energy I want to bring this from every time from the minute one and if the offense uh, doesn't go well, I can, the can help the team all the time with my defense, and that's what I want to do. Is that something you've always had since you were a kid, just that, that energy that you play with? Yeah, I think I have this for my dad, because uh, he played basketball too, and he was also like big hands, big arms, and I think I have it for him. And You know, when I started playing basketball, I was not the best offensive player, so I tried to give the team something else, and yeah. When did you start playing and where did your dad, at what level did he play? Uh, my, my dad was playing um, also with the first team from Bayern Munich, but I don't know how, long, how, how many years ago. <laughs> but um, I started playing when I was 10 years old and, oh, and I started with Bayern Munich, so yeah. Um, and, and so you re-signed uh, or extended with Bayern Munich. Um, what do you anticipate you know, your role being next season? Um, I hope that my role is going to be bigger than last year and um, should be um, and now I try to give the team what I can do like playing defense and um, I try to let the offense come to me and making making easy shots or at least my penetration is also pretty good so try to give the team with the easy thing something back. We saw you out at Eurocamp in Treviso. What was that experience like for you? How do you feel you played out there? Uh, it was a great experience. It was the first time there. Um, you know, it's always uh, a big thing with, with so many scouts and coaches that are there from the NBA. Um, yeah, I was trying also um, to doesn't let this, you know, the surroundings come to my to me and could be a little bit better at the Eurocamp, but. Um, I hope I'm going to be invited next year and I will improve a lot uh, now I want to improve my shot uh, a lot more but it's going better better and better making some three pointers now and um, it's good for my confidence so next year I hope I'm going to invite it too and then I can show a little bit more. When did you feel that you kind of started to you know gain some notoriety and in, in, um, you know kind of emerge a little bit in Germany? Like at what age? Mm, this was starting when I was when I was fifth, no, 16, because before I was, you know, some average player playing. I was playing under 14 in the second team, so they they thought like, okay, play for fun, career, make your thing, and then um, with the JBBL, the then I was thinking, okay. Hmm, I can do a little bit more, I think, and then from then on, I start working harder. And then when the MBBL started, so the under-19 um, competition, there I was feeling, okay, I can do really something and I want to live from basketball when I'm older. Yeah. So you mentioned your shooting. Um, what is it, you know, with that in terms of continuing to develop, like what are the biggest things you think for you? Is it, you know, a confidence thing? Is it, uh, you know, repetitions, mechanics? Like what are you trying to focus on there? Um, now I try to focus on my repetition because before, you know, every coach wanted to uh, making my shot better and add this, make this, make this. 
And from the years now, I started, okay, now I'm, I have my shot. I don't want to change anything. I just need to replicate. And that's what I did last year. And now, for me, like, I'm shooting every game, like, minimum two. And I make almost one. So, for me, I know for other kids, it's okay. What the fuck? But for me, it's, yeah, for me, it's good. Because the years before, I didn't shoot the ball at all. So, now I try to getting better, and it will get bigger, better. How many uh, positions do you feel that you can defend? From one to four, I think I can defend a lot. And uh, I do this because um, I have, like, my body is good for every position. And um, I know, yeah, from one to four, I can defend everything, I think, yeah. Is there anyone in the NBA that you, you know, kind of try to model, take things away from? Yeah, Giannis Antetokounmpo, because um, He's not, he's like, literally like me, wants to push the ball, open court, try to get easy buckets, dunkings, you know, he can also play low post, what I try to do too, and that's also one of my things I can do. So I'm lo always looking uh, forward to, uh, to him, and I'm watching a lot of videos from him, because I really want to be like him. And he also made it from Europe to the NBA. Like. What are your plans for these next few seasons? Uh, you know, some goals, some plans, things like that. Um, first of all, I want to um, get a role in the first team. So to play, play good, get some, um, to, that the coach likes me, you know. Um, and then I hope um, I, from season to season I get better and then we'll see. You know, NBA is always in everybody's mind, and we'll see what the, what the future has for me. Great. Well, thanks so much, man.